Look, I know I'm a bit in the wrong. But Paul deserves better than Ivan. We both do. Anyway, I've decided to be brave and leave the village. It's for the best. So, Jesus said, I'm getting a bit fed up with loaves and fishes, lads. I wish somebody would hurry up and invent me a pizza. <laughs> hey. Hiya. I see um, Nicola's car's outside yours. Hasn't she told you yet, then? What's there to say? Oh, um, I don't know. She seems quite set on leaving. Laurel, Ivan could have been the one for me. Yeah, well, he still might be. Cut the eternal optimism. It's deeply irritating. Right, Gabby, I'm going to go straight in there and I'm going to insist she comes clean. Yeah, well, maybe after the swings. Come on, sweetheart, come on. You will die when you see these. Bet there'll be naff. Wedding pictures usually are. Oh, my God! I told you. It's amazing. Proper David Bailey, this geezer is. Looks like something out of a magazine. I know. <laughs> Hello, people. You sorted out with our Paul yet? Well, uh. Well, Gary's a drink first. Diane, what time's the dinner's on? I'm starving. 20 minutes, roast beef, then apple crumble. No, Marlon. Sorry to disappoint you. Oh, never in a million years, my poor, I could call it little puff death. Don't look now. Here comes the other wrong party. Shut up. Leslie, Simon, have a drink on Rodney. Oh, I am. Um, yeah, we're, we're fine, thanks. Why should you skulk away home alone when you've done nothing wrong? Not so exactly. Um, we'd like some lunch when you're ready. Oh, uh, it's not far off. I'll just... Hi, Simon. Hi. What? What? I'm three hours late. Hmm? My mum's gonna kill me. It's a day off. Oh, it might be yours, but it's not mine. I've got to say. No, listen, try seeing her less as your mum oh, and more as your boss. Why? Why? Because then you can skive like a normal employee. You never skive. That's because I don't work for your mother. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, what was I saying? <laughs> that bad? Oh, don't be silly. So what are you doing hiding in a bush? Um, I was just trying to find a ball. Sorry. So you should be. Well, I've just bumped into Paul and that was awful and I've got Nicola staying at mine. More fool you. Yeah, well, if it's any consolation, they have done. I'm avoiding her more than you. Why? Well, um... Oh, nothing. Um, anyway, I thought you were staying in Hotton. Come on, Laurel. Out with it. This is killing me. All right. I know there was nothing in it. She's promised to come clean herself, I think. She just wanted it to be true. Look, Ashley's doing the Connerton service. I can't get into a big fight with Gabby around. I never had you down for a coward. Donna wants proper working hours. You've got to stick to that. Yeah, but it's gone 12 o'clock. Oh, we'll talk to her. I don't think I'm going to fit round your ovulation cycle either. Would you deny me a child? At your age, yes. And any unborn egg in its right mind would agree. Tell them, Bob. What? To be more supportive. Be more supportive. Right, I'm off to work. Have a sec. Talking of support, what trolleys are you wearing? The lucky wire fronts. Prepare yourself for later. Get right back upstairs and change into those boxers. Now! For procreation's sake! How many more times? The cooler the plums, the better the duff. I'm not here. Is that from the pub? How can I be expected to eat in that atmosphere? What atmosphere? Oh, the marriage at some one side, the black stocks on the other, and your Kelly in between late and the touch paper. Forget the tea. I'll fill up on sherry. If you see Leonard, tell him I'm over at the wall pack. Um, um, 
knackered by the look of it. Just dashed over from the cafe. Val rents us trouble brewing. Oh. There isn't and there won't be. Mm. People don't stir it. No, Nicola. She's in hiding, and I wonder why. She admitted she was at it like Niles with Ivan and took no persuading. Oh. I've just told them. And some of us don't even believe that. Cooey! So, um, how are you, Rodney? Please, don't wind them up. I don't know what you mean. Oh, there's more action in Viv's antique ovaries. The way I see it, this way, everyone's unhappy. Rodney, Paul, Simon. Evicted you, has he? You know he has. So you told Laurel the truth? Hmm. She's blabbed to the world. No. Because she's under some strange delusion that you're going to do the right thing yourself. I might. You've got no faith in me, have you? And you didn't do the right thing by me. What? You led me on. Oh, not this again. How could I? I was falling in love with your brother. I don't want to hear that. Oh, the truth hurts. I thought you liked me. I did. And I liked you. But I never thought of you like that. Because you were with Simon. But if I hadn't been... There's too many ifs and buts, Nicola. You were with Simon and I fell for Paul. But why should we be punished because your relationship fell apart? You've got nothing to say. You said it yourself. This way everyone's unhappy. I hate being on my own. I like company. Everything all right? If you've got one shred of decency left in you, you'll tell Paul that you lied. Oh, I'm sure she will. She'll do exactly as she pleases. I'll be in the pub. You can't ignore me now, can you? Suddenly, you're desperate for a bit of Nicola. Sanctimonious midget. Don't know what I ever saw in him. <laughs> Day off going well? A dream. How'd you fancy a nightmare? I knew I should have stayed in bed. Only it's roast beef and he's forgot to get the Yorkshires. He's a bit distracted at the moment. And he's wrecking your kitchen. Well, I'll have to get the pudding from Viv's. Oh, don't let him break anything else. How's your knickers? Draft it. Oh. Oh. Sorry, who are you expecting? Hey. Oh, oh, see. Finally, a fly enters the ointment. Yeah. All right, Ivan. Could you do us a pint, please? As long as it's a quiet one. Leslie. Now, I know you meant well, but I swear to you, nothing happened. Are you looking for a punch? No, he's looking for a pint, and it's over here. Come on, son. You don't have to do my packing for me. Oh, I think I do. You're angry with me, Laurel. My life's a lot more complicated now than having a drink with you, working for you, and you and your problems. Is it? I'm the vicar's flaming wife, and I will not be seen to be protecting somebody who manipulates and lies and actively sets out to destroy a man's life. And why? Because he didn't want you. Oh, what a pig. Didn't love you back, so let's make him pay. Well, your life might be more complicated, but your brain's still simple. Do you know how many times I've had the knockback over the years? Hundreds. No, slightly less, actually. But I did what any other decent woman would do, and I, I had a few gins, cried in me pillow and got on with it. You've no idea how unhappy I've been. I nearly lost my home, Ashley, Gabby, over the same wicked lie. I thought this was about me, you selfish cow. I might be a cow, but I ain't no coward. Well, I'd rather be a coward than speak in country and western. Fabulous. He looks half handsome, and you look like Sophia Loren. 
in a slate bog. See, sorry, we're missing from most of these. Because you were canoodling somewhere with my daughter. Well, she's got a point. Well, no appearance in the pictures means no contribution to the cop. Fantastic, I just saved myself a fortune. Goodbye. Marlon! Well, he's got a point. Hark, the pub beckons. A rum and cork and a good brawl, that's what you need. I've got a point. Mind the calf. You can't just chuck me out! I'm trying to help you move on with the next stage of your life, and that begins with you going out there and telling the truth! Oh. And is that what God thinks? No, it's what your conscience should be thinking, but... Oh, silly me, I forgot. You haven't got one. You know, I pity you. Oh, really? Mm. Look at this place. Dusty old books. Last century's chintz. Oh. And some pointless religious relics which you like so much, you married one. In my day, if you had a beef with somebody, you got together in the bar and you slugged it out. Now it's all spritzers and idle chit-chat. <laughs> Come on, get out! You have gone too far this time! Shall I go and get Rodney? No, I was He's a very better. nice man. Come on. Get off my doorstep! <laughs> oh! Get off me! No! Not until you've told the truth, Nicola. Oh, he can swing for all I care. Nicola! Yes? Whatever's wrong? Oh, pipe down, Godzilla. Bet you've been gagging for a bit of this all day. That's you told. And you, Mrs Floppy Scarves, to hide your turkey woggle. Right, fine. I'll do the honours in the pub then. <sighs> How sickening. Pollyanna sorts it all out cos she can't bear bad feeling. Well, I'm doing all right so far. You gutless, immoral, snivelling little wretch! You see this head? Held high, sweetheart. Go and ask my dad to get us one in. Suddenly I feel like a drink. Unless you've got plans. No. Hope we haven't lost our seats. Join me. A snifter in a floor show for old time's sake. Or you can always do the right thing. Don't wreck everything you've got. <laughs> Lead on, Matt Witch. Sniper at two o'clock and she's taking no prisoners. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Nicola. She got right. Come on, don't you? Think she was I'm just not saying anything. Now, shh. Finally here, the homo home wrecker. You've got my dad. I'll have this. I was just about to come and see you. Hard cheese. I don't want you to leave. Really? No fool like an old fool. We've all made mistakes, but I think between the three of us we can work things out. Can we? Only if you're fully furnished with the facts, and they are. The truth is, Darden. The truth is. Well, is there more than you told me last night? The truth is. I just want to be your princess again. Take me home, please. I can't hurt him. Don't spoil it for me. Nicola lied! You've had your chance. Well, she's already admitted it wasn't all one way. It wasn't anywhere at all. She cornered Ivan in the kitchen in her bra and pants. He said no. She went off and a half and bumped into Leslie. Oh, God. <laughs> She's the one who's telling the porkies. I don't think so. What would I possibly have to gain, Nicola? She told me last night. She wanted him, but he, he never laid a finger on her. And we all know you're princess when she doesn't get her own way. Is he happy now? Not really. Right, well, I've got a daughter to fetch in. Tea to put on. Drudge. Goodbye, Nicola. 
I'm not sure I can forgive you for this. You look old, Dad. Just go. I'll come. Not now, Kelly. Not now. <clears throat> I bet he says that more with each passing day. <laughs> Why didn't you just tell the truth? After everything he's done for you. Well, shut your trap, Wiggy. <gasps> Fasten your seatbelts. I haven't worn a wig for years. Because you couldn't get one to fit your weird-shaped head. Hey, that's my sister. Cinderella on a day off, is she? Start on me, I'll put your face back. It, there's no need for any of that. Oh, the blood, it speaks. It also carries a stun gun. I can see you'd need the stimulation with that boring bint for company. Oh, glad we got ours outside in private. Yeah. Can everybody see now I sacked her? Uh, I walked out. Well, what would have sacked you? you know, little ideas, little minds, little people. Oh, apart from you, greedy guts, you'd nick a mouldy sandwich off a tramp. Get out, you twisted witch. Well, lend us your broomstick, then. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Well, you've got to admit, she's a killer once she's on form. Oh, hey, Frosty, straight off the top of your head. Give us a proper show. Go on, Nicola, do me. You? Well, the only interesting thing about you is your testicles. And they're emptier than your brain. You little... Oh, shut up and get back to your baby-making rosemary. What are you looking at? I'm so gonna make a fool of you. Yeah, you think? Oh, I do, yeah. You ready? Eyes down, Scotty. Three, two, one, eat! <laughs> I'm so trying to make a fool of you. Oh. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Never feel like just outside that door there's a whole load of action that you're missing out on. <laughs> himself a female impersonator. I've seen more femininity in a pork pie. <laughs> or I would have done it if he hadn't have eaten it first. Thank you, Nicola. No, no, LSD. Yeah, out of my turn yet. You worked a moron. I said me, not Donna. <laughs> yeah, if there was an X Factor for losers, you'd all win it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you all in hell. Not if we see you first. <laughs> Is it always this quiet on a Sunday? <laughs> I better go speak to Dan. <laughs> that was wonderful. Tell me truthfully. Yeah. Have I really got a turkey woggle? No. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> now, what do you fancy gobbling for your lunch? Godzilla. <laughs> Why are you helping? You had it all. Family, business, great bloke. We were such friends, you and me. Ivan, don't even bother. Take this and take care. Maybe I did spoil you too much. I'm sorry. Well, I'm not. And I've still got 50 grand! I'm so sorry. Maybe Nicola was right. You are all losers. So, when are we going to see these photos? Let's gossip about Nicola. Right before you go to the bank. Anything <laughs> there? Uh, mothballs. <laughs> How much? You have to pay for quality. Vivian? Two thousand. Two, two thousand for snapshots? She has never looked sexier. Why oh, is she saying that? Because she's just an ally to a million little swimmers. Do you think I have? Yes, Viv. Because Bob's a time served fertility expert who just happens to moonlight in a pub. Hey! Hasn't your Scott just got a bundle from Dawn's house? Oh, I couldn't. 
debtor's prison and only the proofs to show for it. Not even a fancy album. Second thoughts. Scott, sweetheart. Do you know how much she spent on snapshots? Of course he does. He's paying for them. He never said. You never asked. He was too busy giving his little swimmers the kiss of life. Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> because you're rolling in it and your man has seen you through thick and thin. More thick in your case. How much did you say they were? Oh, please, Scott. I'll get him to make your pecs look really big for the album. You all right? Great! Two grand. <laughs> you can't take it back now! <laughs> you were so right. Dad never really cared. And he's chucked me out without a penny to my name. So... Can I come to you, please, Mum? Great. We'll see you later. Bye.